Jussie Smollett. Uh, oh, Jussie. God bless Jussie. Or as Chris calls him, Juicy Smollett. <laughs> Juicy Smollett. Jussie Smollett. Um, so get this. I don't know if you guys caught this in the news. Jussie. So he's got his trial that's underway in Chicago this week. There's a lot going on in the world that nobody's talking about. There's a lot going on in the world. Protests all over. I mean, mass protests in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, all over the world, we're seeing that. They're not talking about that. You know, again, uh, what did they say? The, the, the old adage, the revolution will not be televised. Uh, that's, that's the deal. So, uh, of course, you remember Jesse. Jesse, he, he had the little, he, he got attacked by two white people in Chicago at 3, 8, 2 a.m. While, while he was out there getting uh, his Subway sandwich, you know, and uh, <laughs> they screamed, this is MAGA country uh, in Chicago. <laughs> Turns out, turns out it was a couple of uh, Nigerian brothers. Uh, but here's the point. Here's why we're talking about it. He staged a dry run. He held a dry run. So technically, he did it twice. <laughs> he got his ass kicked twice. Uh, <coughs> Smullett, uh, Webb said, I'm in Bola. We'll testify that days before the incident, that's one of the Nigerians, that Smullett texted him asking for help on the low. The two later talked in Smollett's car with the actor telling him specifically he wanted them to shout a racial epithet and MAGA to make it seem like the assailants were racist supporters of President Trump. I want you to attack me, but when you hit me, I want you to kind of pull your punches a bit because I don't want to get seriously hurt. <laughs> he said, he, said uh, he told him, he said, put a rope around his neck, make it look more like a lynching, like a hate crime. The three men went on a dry run before the attack, part of which was captured on surveillance camera. They caught the dry run. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Smollett's Mercedes can be seen circling the Streeterville intersection, showing the brothers the area where he wanted the attack to occur. What a dumbass. But again, these are the talking heads we're supposed to be listening to, right? These, these are the people from Hollywood, the people from big media, big tech, all this. We're supposed to be listening to these guys. They're supposed to be the experts. What a pinhead. And you know, I laugh, but it's not funny. I mean, this, 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 this could have gotten people hurt. This could have caused riots. This could have caused uh, hate crimes, uh, racial crimes. This could have caused a lot of things. This cost the city of Chicago millions of dollars to investigate. Um, it's, 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 a, it's still costing them. It's still costing the taxpayers uh, to just do this trial. This guy had it made. Had it made. You're a, Holly, you're a hit show in Hollywood, dude. Not enough, man. You got you to have a little hate mixed in there, too. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.